have stated that this is the best time to live in, and I stand by that. I also stated I do not ignore the problems in the world, but there are so few it's often difficult to figure out which is more important. Cleave this, one of my very cool subscribers, asked me to address this one video, and I thank you for that. This is actually not a modern issue. It's one of those things we just didn't actually hear of very often because until the internet and really cool technology, we only saw what the news reported which they only reported what they had heard about, and that was not much at all. So why are we seeing this behavior more? Because people are really not all that bright, and will record their own bad behavior, then broadcast it to the world. We are, in large, a panicky animal, and prone to many of the flaws of our nearest ancestors. One is that we have we give in to mob mentality very easily. Mob mentality is often sugar-coated by calling it peer pressure. But I don't like sugar so I refuse to cope anything with it. The children in this particular video are demonstrating the classic mob mentality. It also shows that we still have major issues to work on. Now what bothers me most is that no one, not one person, was willing to stand up to defend her, at least in what I was able to watch. The video is not one that is easy to watch, and I cried watching it, wishing I was on that bus to berate the children involved in this. But that was the heart of the issue, really. Most people will see these as bad kids, as rotten apples, nothing but monsters picking on another human. You will be tempted to forget that these kids are really behaving how they are taught. Most parents are not addressing the kids as valuable, often treating them as what I call mini-me's. Then there are parents who are indoctrinating the kids to treat anyone different than them as less than human. The bully behavior is rarely as simple as people wish to paint it, and this perpetuates the problem, as it is not addressing the actual root teach young people the value of society, they must learn from adults who already understand that value. And many of the zealots, fundamentalists, and idiotic bigots of the United States do not value human life or differences at all. I may seem to be rambling a bit, but I do have a main point here. The value of human life is what we are not improving. Not because of technology, but because young people are not being taught this by their parents. One of the ways they learn to devalue life or even differences, is by being abused. The parents of these children need to be investigated, seriously. Abuse of any sort will lead a person to devalue human life as a whole. As they feel their own lives are useless, they will project that feeling onto others, typically through bullying. The fact that they are bullying an older person is not really surprising to me. Bullies choose easy targets. I again assert that anti-bully laws will not end bullying. It will merely shift the targets. The behavior must be addressed at its primary cause, the root of the issue. We need to ensure that the parents are not abusing the children in any way, and our child abuse laws must be more strict. But we also must ensure that if the children must be removed from their homes, that they, are, that they have a safe and well-educated environment to be placed in so that the issue does not become circular. Whether you like it or not, most parents are not qualified to raise children. Just because someone can procreate does not inherently mean they are capable of handling the resulting offspring. We will see resistance to such corrections in society, and we will even have to withstand the barrage of false accusations of indoctrination. But it is indoctrination that is causing this problem in the first place. Negative indoctrination by parents who are completely and utterly clueless on how to raise children effectively. The tools available to us should be used much better than they are. The authorities should investigate the video's source and people should voice their concerns about the children's behaviors in it. There needs to be more outrage, and it should be aimed at the parents. This video has been flowing around for over a week, and I have only seen a few people address it, and most often the commentary is nothing more than saying how bad the behavior is with no call to solve it, and no questions of why the children behave like that. I am thoroughly disappointed in how many vloggers, bloggers, and news programs have handled this. The first question should be, what are the parents teaching these kids? So I call to you, every YouTuber, everyone who is making news or blogs, demand something be done to find the reason these children are behaving how they are. Use the tools we have to educate them and their parents. It's one of the few remaining problems, and one that has been addressed so poorly by most people that it has reached a level of insanity I have not seen in a long time. This is the real face of bullying. It is not homophobic. It is not racist. It is not even sexist. It is opportunistic. The only cure for stupid is education. 